If you're a Linux administrator and looking to lock down your Linux servers and desktops as tight as possible, you owe it to yourself to make use of two-factor authentication. This should be considered as no-brainer as they come. Why? Because by adding two-factor authentication, it becomes exponentially more difficult for malicious users to gain access to your machines. With Linux, it is possible to set up a machine such that you cannot log into the console or desktop or, by way of secure shell, without having the two-factor authentication code associated with that machine. Let's configure two-factor authentication on a Ubuntu server. You'll need your server up and running, and either Authy or the Google Authenticator app on your mobile device. For installation, log into your Linux machine and follow these steps. Open a terminal window. Issue the command sudo space apt space install space libpam-google-authenticator. Type your sudo password and hit enter. If prompted, type y and hit enter. Allow the installation to complete. Now it's time to configure the machine for two-factor authentication. Back at your terminal window, issue the command sudo space nano space forward slash etsy forward slash pam dot d forward slash common dash auth. Locate the following line. Auth. Success equals one, default equals ignore. pam underscore unix dot so space null lock underscore secure. Above that line, add the following. Auth space required space pam underscore google underscore authenticator dot so. Save and close that file. Now it's time to create your code. Issue the command google dash authenticator. You will be required to answer a series of questions. The first question is, do you want authentication tokens to be time-based, yes or no? Answer that with a Y, and you will be presented with a QR code. Open up your two-factor app on your smartphone, add a new account, and scan that code. Once you've added the code, answer the remaining questions. Next, we must set up Secure Shell. Here's what you do. Issue the command sudo space nano space forward slash etsy forward slash pam dot d forward slash sshd. With the file open, add the following line under read environment variables from etsy environment and auth space required space pam underscore google underscore authenticator dot so. Save that file and then issue the command sudo space nano space forward slash etsy forward slash ssh forward slash sshd underscore config. In this file, look for challenge response authentication space no and change it to challenge response authentication space yes. Save that file and restart sshd with the command sudo system control restart sshd. That's all it takes to add a much needed layer of extra security to your Linux machines. Every time you attempt to log in to that Linux server or desktop, you'll need that two-factor code from either Authy or Google Authenticator. Remember, without that third-party two-factor authentication app, you will not be able to log into your newly configured machine. So keep that phone handy at all times.